This video is going to explain how to make a bootable USB with persistent storage using Linux Ubuntu. I am going to show you installing Ubuntu on a USB stick which could be a pen drive or external SSD and plug it on USB 3.0 and start working with Ubuntu. Now whatever changes you do within the live bootable USB will be stored permanently. Even after rebooting back to the live USB, you will be able to access all of the files. This is the easiest way to try out Ubuntu on any PC or laptop without the need for dual booting or installing Ubuntu along the side with Windows 10. Now for beginners, this would be a super beneficial and helps in getting started with Ubuntu. For this simple project, you need any external SSD or hard drive or pen drive to create a Ubuntu live USB with persistent storage. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to use a 120GB external SSD. That being said, let's start creating a bootable live USB. Go ahead, open your favorite browser and head over to the official website of Ubuntu and download any ISO image file. Now keep in mind the live USB with persistent storage will only work with Ubuntu 18.04 or higher. For now, I am going to download the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Go ahead, download and save it on your desktop for easier navigation. Next up, head over to the second website from the second link and download the latest version of Rufus. Once it's done, connect your external SSD through USB 3.0 for faster read and write speeds. Now go ahead open Rufus. And from here, select your external drive, then choose Ubuntu ISO which you have downloaded. Once it's selected, you will see a slider with persistent option. Go ahead and drag this persistent slider and allocate a minimum of 8 gigs or higher. Now in my case, I'm going to allocate a 70 gigabytes for persistent storage and the rest of the data is going to store the Ubuntu system. Now what it does, it's going to create a persistent partition with 70 gigabytes inside live USB, which is where all the files will be stored. Now the partition layout will be set as MBR by default and BIOS or UEFI. Then go ahead, click on the start button and start writing Ubuntu ISO into an external drive. Now sit back and relax and the process will take some time depending on the writing speeds of the drive. That's it, now we have done creating a live bootable USB with persistent storage using Ubuntu. Now go ahead, reboot your PC or laptop. While it's rebooting, press F10 to launch the boot menu and look for the external drive. Now in this case, it's showing as a storage jet, which is my external SSD. I'm going to select this SSD and start booting into live USB. Now once you are inside the live USB or bootable Ubuntu, 
we need to do a few more things to make Ubuntu more reliable and accessible. First and foremost, open the terminal and update the repositories and system by typing this command. Once it's done, type these commands and press the return key. Now this will link your Ubuntu Live USB to access Ubuntu repositories that holds a lot of commands. In one word, it helps to install all of the commands from default repositories. After finishing that, let's try to install the neofetch command by typing this command. Now as you can see, neofetch is working properly. Now if I restart the live USB, all the files will be saved to the persistent storage. In one word, I would say it's a portable Ubuntu live USB that can be plugged into any computer or laptop using USB 3.0 and start working with Linux on the go. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KS Garayal. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.